I am absolutely serious that this is going to be the easiest labyrinth guide you have ever seen so that you can hurry up, finish up, and get this exact set. These are the set bonuses on the screen, disguise and bonus weapon proficiency, and it just looks so good and it has stealth up. Let's get into it so you can get this armor now. We're going to first start by launching from the Gerudo Canyon Skyview Tower. Once we're in the sky, you should be able to see the sky labyrinth from where we are. It's kind of a... Uh, Kind of obvious. All right, so there it is right in front of us, and we're going to get to a platform that helps us get there. And as you can tell, this one right in front of us is the easiest one to reach. So just head over down to this guy right over here. And no, say the East Grudo Sky Archipelago. Archipelago. Man, my English sometimes. All right, when you arrive here, you're going to be seeing a little flying machine. So what you're going to do is assemble whatever you want in order to build it. I'm gonna be using this thing over here. It's my cheapest thing I've ever built. <laughs> so I'm gonna go ahead and, and do this. My hover bike version 1.0. A lot of people are using version 2.0, which are these wheels at a 45 degree angle, but I like 1.0 because it just gives me height and security, okay? I'm gonna use 2.0 eventually. So then hop on that and we're just gonna, <laughs> just gonna go right across. My glider has uh, lifted up too much, and that's probably the problem of version 1.0 of the hover bike. And then we're going to go ahead and just tap this shrine over here. Just like this. And now uh, the gravity has changed a bit. So I'm going to tap this. That way we can come back up here at any single time that we want. And you can notice you can access this if you haven't done the bottom. All right, now right down below us is going to be the actual labyrinth that we have to go to. So if we pan down, this is the spot where we're going to go, go to. Now, what I want you to do is mark up this exact location because we're just going to drop down right from the top to that marker. So just go ahead and jump down. And then that yellow marker symbol is pretty much to notify that we are now moving at normal gravity. All right, so go ahead. And as we are approaching this spot here, just to confirm, this is what it's exactly going to look like. All right, we see it drop right in between here. So you should see a square like that on your left and that to your right. Okay. And we should see some gloom here. We're going to go right underneath the gloom and turn left into that, then come around and drop down. Right over here. And you should be easily right here at the South Lomi Chasm. So we're going to tap the shrine. And then after that, we're going to get a little, little bit of a notification once we can tap this over here. So we tap the shrine, then we're gonna go ahead and tap this over here. And it says, for you who conquered this labyrinth of the land, I, the ruler of boars, have unlocked a door. Find it on the north side of the labyrinth of the sky. And because I made you go to the sky first, <laughs> all we have to do is just teleport right up there. Look how easy I made your lives. You didn't have to go through the entire labyrinth. So now you're just gonna open up your map, pan up, and then we're just gonna go to the entrance of the shrine here. Now, once you approach the shrine, we should no longer get the we cannot enter symbol, but we'll be able to proceed through. So when you tap this, we're going to activate the Sky Island version of the labyrinth. So we're going to we're going to have to pass the test of wisdom. Four terminals are hidden in this maze. Activate them all. And the door opens up. And we have a lot of wind blowing everywhere in here, so we can uh, navigate the whole entire spot. All right, now that you activated this and the doors open, make sure your adventure log is set at the South Low Meat Prophecy and that you can see all these four points on your map. These are the four we're gonna go to and there's an entire maze to do that, but we're not even gonna bother doing this maze. Yep, you heard me correct, we are not gonna bother. And uh, this might blow your mind if you have been trying this in the past, or you have already done this maze or you're just trying to figure this out by clicking on this video. Anyway, so when you arrive at this first part, just straightforward, you're going to just ascend. <laughs> I know you're probably like, wait, what? Just ascend? What do you mean by that? Well, I'm going to show you exactly what I mean by just ascend. This is literally made by the developers to remind us that, hey, you can ascend. And all you have to do once you ascend to the top is literally go to each one and you're going to just dive down and get what you need. Here we go. 
drop down, and oh, would you look at that? That's one of the activation points. Then you're gonna look for the next spot to ascend, which is gonna be right over here. Go back up. Then go ahead and just head to the next one. Just like this. And then here's the one over here to the next of it, and you're dropping. Tap that. That's two checkpoints done up here. Find the next ascension spot, which is gonna be right up up here. So don't panic. There's always gonna be a way to go. And we go up and up. So we've got two done pretty much so far. And we just have to hit the back two. Let's head to the back one over here. Should be pretty simple to follow along at this point. And drop down this hole. That's the third waypoint. And look up. Find your ascension point. All right, back at the top. And we're just going to go right across to finish this off. Also, make sure to not fall down. You don't want to fall down because then you have to find your way to an ascension point again. All right, after you're done with the fourth one, you're going to get a little cutscene over here. Going to hear some rumbling. And oh, wow, the game's telling us to go on top. And if you haven't gotten on top already, you might really be angry and realize, wait a second, I could have got on top the whole time. Yes, you could have. All right, so we're going to go right here, ascend up, and we're going to go ahead and tap that. All right, head over to that exact thing that the game wanted us to tap. That's going to be right over there. All right, once you arrive at this, go ahead and just tap it from the other side because I was tapping at the wrong side. You who have traversed this maze, mark well my words. Uh-oh. I have pulled apart the bars in the labyrinth of the land that obstructed the ground below. Okay, now I pretty much just have to do a straight dive. From high above to far below, prove your courage by diving into the depths of the earth. The final way shall open up to you. Well, listen, we're professional sky gliders because, you know, people who have watched this channel already know we can do this like a pro. We're going to dive all the way down here. There we go. We are no longer in the nice gravity that we can look like we're jumping on the moon. Keep going down here into this chasm. We're going to hear the underground music. And based on what we see right below, we already know what kind of boss we're going to be fighting. It's going to be a flux construct because it's right below us. And he's like, oh, you're over there, buddy. OK, so we're going to head right to it and fight it. I'm going to go ahead and just drop down here. And the fight should start as soon as he spots me. So let me just get my weapons ready. I got some silver lino horns from some of my other videos. So I'm just going to go ahead, you know, and uh, keep this on me. All right, let's go. Okay, okay. So I'm just holding the high ground right now. Okay, this is a Flux Construct 3, which means this guy is going to be moving all the time. Uh-uh-uh-uh. There we go. That is the way we're going to beat it, and we're just going to whack it up here. And we're done. Easy peasy. <laughs> and this will open up over here. Yeah, use your use your ultra hand. It's quite useful. Ooh, we got a mirror, some zonite charges. This is this is going to be great for upgrading our battery. The first time I've gotten a sled. Fantastic. This is why we do these things. And I'm just going to keep this attachment on this weapon for now because I can always remove it if I need to. All right, let's go ahead. Tap on this when you're done. You have traversed this labyrinth of the depths. So we, we beat the main floor. We beat the sky and we beat this monster down here. The construct. We have shown ourselves to be strong of body, skill, and mind. And then right after that, in my name as the ruler of boars, I commend you to achievement and offer a fitting reward. There we go. It is time. Armor wreath and otherworldly evil. Hit it away. It's gotta be. It's always it's always the middle platform. Beautiful. And you're just gonna go right to that. And open up that chest.
and we got ourselves the evil spirit mask nice actually this this looks pretty sick barbarian armor and that mask oh baby all right let's head to the next one the next place we're the next place we are going to be headed to is the paquita stone grove skyview tower this is going to be all the way to the top left of the map in the heber region that's the one we're going to and what you want to do is we're going to lift off it is a little cold i should probably put on some some pants i'm, I'm freezing we're gonna lift off here and you're just gonna quickly pan your camera always pan your camera so you know what on earth is going on and you see a something of a big box floating in the sky that is going to be your indication there's a labyrinth there and what we're gonna be doing is heading towards where that symbol is on the floor not on the floor but dodge these guys that little sky island section over here we're gonna try to head right over there just dodge them whoop you can't get me today buddy whoop so just do a little of a of a drop down and weave kind of thing um so this is exactly where we're heading to so fly over there dodge all those as you can if you don't have enough stamina to make it well then you can drop on this one and use these little platforms to your advantage to try to get over there that shouldn't be too bad if you have some zonite devices now i'm going to be heading right to this spot because this is where i want to be Okay, once you arrive on this spot, make sure to activate this shrine over here. Tap it so you can come back here anytime you need before you advance there. But we are going to play it smart. And just like the last one, we're going to head to that location over there. Let me go put on some pants. I'm very cold. I have equipped ruby shield and snow pants. We are now not going to freeze. Now I'm just going to build ourselves the uh, hoverboard. That's that's what we're going to do here. The hoverboard. If you need any zonite parts, you can go to this machine over here. This, this is a dispenser and it has the following parts. Wings, cards, fans. So you can make your way over there. All right. I'm going to hop on my machine and let's fly. Okay, I'm just going to glide to the shrine, the North Lome Castle top floor. Very cool, very cool. Just go ahead and activate this shrine over here. Okay, so open up your map and what you want to do is just click down below and you're going to mark up this spot over here. So if you want to see what it looks like, it's going to be looking like this over here on this side, the closest one, and then you're going to mark that. Then what we're going to do is we're just going to literally just hop off and dive down below baby because we are doing this speed strat style and then as we get close you can see the little puzzle piece right there and align yourself with it just like this and then what you want to do is just drop down below like this make sure you have your glide open because what you're going to do is as soon as you reach this little platform here, we're going to just whoop right in like that. And we're going to keep going. We're going to climb up these steps here. And then look at that. You've made it to the next shrine. Wow. How'd you do that? And as you tap this area, it's just OK. It looks like the ice is melt. Oh, that's right. I'm wearing a ruby shield. I didn't even realize that. So while this ice is melting, why don't you do me a favor and hit that subscribe button. We're trying to get Link all the way to beat Ganondorf. Thank you very much and drop a like while you're at it. Oh, look at that. You subscribed and the ice melted. All right, let's tap the shrine. See what the power of subscribing does. All right, now that we got this shrine all ready to go, we have this spot totally activated. And now we're going to go ahead and tap this. And we'll get our messages over here talking about conquering the labyrinth, yada, yada, yada. And then it's going to be time to go ahead and teleport up to the labyrinth in the sky. So just pan your map up and head to the shrine we activated earlier. When you're at the sky spot, go ahead, run up to this and tap it. All right. So after that message happens, the door is going to open just like this. Okay, now that the door is open, we're going to want a quick hacky hacky way to get up to the top. Now, there's really three options you can play this. One, take a flying machine and just, just get to the top, right? That's the easiest way. Then there's going to be some of you watching who don't have that option. You might have, not have the Zonite or you're too lazy. Well, guess what? Look at this. It's almost like, huh, you should climb me. And then you start climbing up this, right? And because of the zero gravity, you go a little bit higher. 
and a little bit higher. And then it's like, oh, wait, what about my stamina? What's going to happen? Well, look at this. At the end of every single spot, they have almost like a rest point here that you can um, chill on. Look at that. And you can get your stamina back and you can keep rinse and repeating this. It's actually pretty cool. It's almost it's no, it's not almost. It is made for you to go ahead and cheese it by climbing. OK, zero gravity. <laughs> All right, let's just climb to the top. No, no, no problems now. Straight up. Rest if you run out of stamina. There we go. And keep climbing. And we are at the top. All right. So <laughs> what you can do now from the top is pretty much we can hit every single point on this labyrinth and then you can teleport back to the spot or what you can do is be complete five head. And if you happen to have watched my video on how to upgrade your Pura pad and get your Traveler's Medallions, well, then guess what you're going to do over here? You're just going to simply plop a Traveler's Medallion down because you got one in your key items. So I'm just going to get one. Let me collect. Whoa, where's my other Traveler's Medallion? And I'm just going to place it here. Cool. Now that I place it here, I can just go ahead and drop down to this one. Just like this. And I'm at the middle one. <laughs> that simple, guys. So there's your three options of how we're going to go about hitting all the points. So here's point one done. Then I just open up my map to the Traveler's Medallion. Then move to the north spot. Drop down. Activate the point. You're done. Go back to the map, then head for the east one and drop down. Tap your little checkpoint over here. And something I just wanted to mention that it's not there's no really ascension points in this one. They were very slick with it. We couldn't pull what we did in our last labyrinth over here. Back to the Traveler's Medallion. And finally, I'm going to be headed towards the south one and tap the last one. After this, the cutscene will happen again. And out of those little sands there, the labyrinth will arise a little circle circular device that we're going to have to head to. But guess what? We got Traveler's Medallion in that spot. So we're going to go back to our Traveler's Medallion, back to the middle. All right, go ahead and activate it. And this time I'm going to be on the correct side. No, I am not on the correct side again. <laughs> That's a fail again. All right. And it's going to probably tell us just to dive down in the depths below. So get ready for that. Probably another fight. And um, let's go ahead and jump off. All right, go ahead from this platform and dive. That was that was definitely not a great dive. OK, <laughs> that was that was not professional. All right, angle yourself so you're facing the chasm. We're going to hit this point. And when you hear that music. Where is it? Where is the music? There it is. Oh, it, yo, it is pitch black. I cannot see anything. I, I don't know what is down here. Oh, OK, never mind. <laughs> yeah, that was the darkest uh, I've seen it in a bit. OK, and we are here. That means I probably have not activated the light route outside of here. Shame on me. OK, so it's pretty much the same thing. You land on the bottom and I'm just going to light up my pathways here, walk down this and we're going to fight another flux construct. Last one was pretty easy, not going to lie. And I'm just going to light up that room because I kind of want to be able to see. All right. And then I'm going to go ahead and eat because, Phil, why are you not eating your food? Switch to our full barbarian outfit so we can do some nice damage here. I don't need to do sneaky sneaky. And let's go ahead and show this boss who's the actual boss. Wait for that signal. I'm going to bait him here. Boom. OK, we got the hit. And we're going to go in on the construct. And that was that was not executed well. There we go. Oh, did we beat it already? The boss health bar didn't even show up. OK, well, we show that who's boss. What flux con was that? Was that level three? Got some time bombs. I don't even know what construct this was. I've never fused it on a boomerang before. That was a three. All right, well, we took down three pretty quick. All right, so then go ahead. We're going to activate this. We're going to get some messages. 
Then out of the floor, after you're done with the shrine, you're going to have the chest show up. I'm calling it shrine because everything just feels like I'm tapping a shrine. Go ahead, approach that chest, and we should be getting our next item. The Evil Spirit Greaves. So we got ourselves a hat, we got ourselves some greaves, and now we're just gonna have to get the chest piece. So let's head over to the next one. Totally forgot, while I'm here, uh, and while you're all here, you should probably get the light route, the light route in this area. Probably be a good idea. Just so you can see, because I did not like diving in that darkness. No way! We just went right above it. <laughs> what is that? Luck? That was cool. I wish I rehearsed that, but that that is awesome. That's never going to happen to me in a tutorial again. All right, now we got that part on lock. All right, now let's go to the next labyrinth. So we're going to want to head over to Ulri Mountain Skyview Tower right over here. This is going to be all the way to the right of your map, top right, okay? Once you're at Ulri Mountain Skyview Tower, we have nothing else to do but to lift off. All right, so there's our target right in front of us over there. But it's not going to be probably as easy to reach. So um, we're not going to go straight directly to that. I mean, you can make it if you have a certain someone, but for most people, you're probably going to want to go to this island right over here where the flux construct is. So we're just going to just head right over here. All right. And luckily, you're going to see something pop in, which looks like a flying machine. So if you, you don't have anything great that you have for auto build, or if you have an auto build ready, you, you do have a flying machine available for you to go ahead and build. And you know what? While you're here, you might as well go ahead and slap all these extra batteries on this flying machine so it doesn't consume all the charge. So I'm just going to go ahead and do that. All right, I'm going to hop on this flying machine, and our goal is to get to this island over here, because that's the next one closest to where that labyrinth is, because if you look at the map, we have to go from here to the sky mine, and from the sky mine, we're then going to lift ourselves off and head over here. That's going to be the path where we're going. So here we go. It should be pretty easy because we got a bunch of batteries on us. So want to go with forward momentum first, just to, to get as close as possible. So push down all the way. And then as we get a little closer, you're just going to let go in terms of like lift like this. And that's going to bring the lift of your flying device a little bit higher. So just follow along. All right. And uh, those batteries have not been consumed yet. So we're just going to lift up here just so we can make a nice landing. Just like this. And now it's only going to consume your own battery at this point. So I'm just going to go ahead and probably lift myself even higher at this point since I do have some battery. If you are at that shrine over there, you can go tap that for a quick fast point. Might be nice to do that. But I'm just going to go ahead and keep going to the top here because I, I always want maximum height when I'm trying to go to a further place. We made it. And then I can just go ahead and stop my machine. And we are alive. No worries. All right. Cool. So now you've made it to this part. And the next place we have to go is going to be right over there to that labyrinth. So at this point, make sure to just go ahead and save your game in case you mess up as we're heading towards this spot. Now I'm putting my flying machine right in this spot over here facing that labyrinth. And I'm going to hop in this one. Just like this. And we got lift off. So watch your battery very carefully, and if your battery does get consumed a bit, yeah, just 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 keep track of it. Just keep track of it. And look at these little checkpoints as we're going towards this big maze. It's a little it's a little annoying to get to. But what you want to do is try to get as much height as you can. And for bonus, if you happen to have the Sage of Wind, have them ready to go. Because you have your stamina as well. So I'm just going to go ahead and I'm going to try to get as much height as I can. At this point, I, I need it. I'm pushing forward. So then I'm going to let this go. Let my battery charge for a bit. Oh, and that fell. <laughs> All right. The next closest island I can see for myself is probably going to be. Well, I wonder if we can make it on our on our stamina. Let's see. But if not, you can head to this island here, use that as a checkpoint, and use that Zonai device right there as your means to launch you up. So if you can make it with your stamina, do that. 
Now I'm going to keep going and shout out to our our boy here for bringing us a lot closer to where we need to go. Consuming some stamina here. And, you know, if you're a pro player at this point, you know that you should always carry stamina food with you wherever you go. I I, I always like to put my 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 actually I don't I don't I don't I don't always carry stamina food with me. Anyway, here we are. We've actually made it surprisingly. I did not think we were going to make it. Uh, but we have made it with my stamina, and luckily I'm doing this fresh with you guys, and we've entered the the moon gravity levels. So yes, if you were if you were coming from over there, make sure that that was the Azone device you would lift off from and and pull up to this spot. All right, so you made it to the shrine. Fantastic. Go ahead and tap it. Okay, so before we jump, you're just gonna go ahead and go down to the surface level right over here. And this is the spot you're gonna mark up on the labyrinth that is right below us. So right to the left here and this little dot. Go ahead and mark that. Then we're gonna just hop off. That's it. How cool is that? Easy. And just dive straight down and follow me as we approach the spot. Then we're gonna open our paraglider right here. And we're going to aim for this little block right there, because that's where our green mark is. Exactly there. And stop. As you arrive here, you're going to go ahead and paraglide again. We're going to just drop down. Paraglide here. Climb up. Climb up these steps. And basically, you're just going to want to go all the way up and around. Turn right here. Keep going up these steps. And you've arrived. How cool is that? But make sure to always tap the shrine so we have a fast teleport point. There we go. The Iga, Iga, Igashuk shrine. And then we're going to tap this. And it's going to tell us some shenanigans and that we need to go to the sky. And guess what? We already did the sky part. So we don't have to be irritated and go take a whole journey there. Now we can just teleport right above. Open up your map and then pan up to the Sky Islands. And then we're just going to just go right in front of it. Once you arrive over here, we're going to go ahead and tap it so it activates. To you who set foot in my Labyrinth of the Sky, I offer a test of wisdom. There's going to be four terminals. Again, same kind of concept here. And then the door is going to open. All right, now let's get inside of here. All right, so what you want to do is you're going to want to face this way. Pretty much. You want to open up your paraglider and back up a bit so you're facing this wall. And then you want to see the maximum height that you get. And then the moment you can, latch onto this wall that's facing where we just came out of. So the cool part about this is when we climb, we have that zero gravity as we saw before. But the inside of these ledgers all are a little bit of rest points. So if for some reason I do run out of stamina, which I'll actually do for you guys so you can see, and I just let go. Oh, look at that. We can recover our stamina. So you can climb here with no problem. So just get to the top. And then once you're at the top, <laughs> we're just going to go to the middle part of the map to make our lives a little bit easier here. No way that just happened to me. <laughs> okay. And I'm going to go ahead and just place my Traveler's Medallion right over here. Let me go ahead and collect the one from before and just place it down over here. Just like that. And if you don't have your Traveler's Medallion, what are you doing? You really need to watch that video. You're going to keep climbing every single time for all four of these? Nah. Oh, by the way, I, I don't see anything active on my map. So I'm going to go ahead and to go to my adventure log so that way these are active on my map. Let's go ahead and head to each point. We're going to go to the one in the top left first. There it is. And we are going to drop down. All right, activate point number one. Head back to your Traveler's Medallion. Okay, then head over to the one on the top right. <laughs> Make sure not to fall down. I have slipped once or twice, but you guys will never see that because... Shout out to the power of editing. Drop down here. And then activate this one. Rinse and repeat. Back to the travel medallion. Okay, we're going to go for this one over here. So that's the one I'm heading to. Make sure you drop down to the exact right spot. I believe it should be this one. And dive. Yep. 
Yep, it's this one. Activate this. And we just have one more to go. All right, let's head to the last one. And drop. And that's the last one. When you activate it, we should get our cutscene to show up. There it is. Okay, take the Traveler's Medallion back to the spot and touch it. And this time, look at me. I got it my first try. All right, go ahead and we're gonna dive down below. All right, that was a clean dive. That's that's an Olympic dive right there. All right, this time we're like dead center. Let's head to the bottom here. There we go. And this one should be dark because I don't have this cleared in the depths. So this time I won't be afraid because, okay. Let me just uh, mark it up. I'm not afraid, guys. I'm just, you know, just trying to see exactly where I am, you know? It's probably exactly looks the same. There we go. Yep, there it is. There's the floor. There's the flux construct. I'm going to just go ahead and kind of mark up my area. And then we're going to go down these steps. It's the same thing all over again. All right. Yeah, okay, light up that room a bit because I don't want to fight that guy in the dark. Okay, all lit up. Should I go ahead and save before your fight just in case anything happens? And maybe we're going to get lucky this time and be able to take it out again. All right, I'm going to use a topaz. Let's see what happens. Oh, that's nice. I'm going to smack it again. Boom. These Lionel bows are literally OP. Look, look how crazy it is. I'm still moving in bullet time here. Oh my gosh. Yeah, he's like... Oh, 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 oh. Hold on. Okay, we're done. Yeah, it's that, it's that easy. And uh, you could do that too if you also watch my videos about uh, Lionel farming. It's, it's crazy. I didn't realize we could take out Construct 3s that fast. And I'm going to put this on my soldier spear. But don't worry, I'm going to deconstruct that and save that part for something spicier later. Anyway, interact with this. After interacting with that, then we're going to have this little thing come out of the floor with the final piece of our armor. Oh my goodness. So go ahead and uh, congratulate yourself for doing that. Hit that like button because I know you guys are excited that you got this. Open up the chest and don't forget to also please... Get the shrine in this area after you're done. I'm not going to show it, but you guys know exactly what to do. And it'll light up the area. There you go. There's the armor. And I will see you all in the next one.